Yet to come, it's the nine at nine. Number nine, we're less than one week away from the new year, and that means new dating trends like conscious swiping. They're no longer just mindlessly swiping, they're stopping to really read what people are posting, and they're mindfully using dating apps to find people with similar interests and goals. A few years ago, people were willing to deal with all the gray areas. They didn't mind if people were ambiguous about what they wanted, but those days are now over. This is a new age, a new dawning of a new day. <laughs> people want intentions up front, and they want some personality up yeah. front as yeah. well. So change Higher your standards. profile, people. Yeah. I actually think it shows there's more substance yeah. to it, right? I want to know what people were okay with the gray areas of not yeah, recent, <laughs> recent no gray standards. standards. <laughs> quotes, too, yeah. so. I, I admit, I was I was at my daughter's swim lesson, and I was I was <laughs> eavesdropping. I was actually looking over the shoulder of this. I think it was a, a nanny of one of the kids who was in the swim lesson here, okay, and I was looking yeah. at her phone. She was on a dating app. Yeah. She was swiping, rejecting so fast. Really fast. I mean, one after another. I mean, just yeah. like like 50 in a minute. Wow. She and I don't want her to stop and be like, what? You know, you've rejected like 50 guys here in like <laughs> a minute. Like men are not I disposable. Yeah. But yeah, but I didn't deny that. Also, would be you should creepy. watch the kid you're babysitting. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah. Well, it was a swim lesson, but so yeah, you're right. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, it was just, yeah. just nope, huh. nope, nope. Wow. Nope, nope, yeah. She's fine. She knows yeah. what she wants. Oh, too fast. Right. <laughs> All right, number eight. In 1957, folks in the town of Early, Iowa, conducted a square dance with their tractors. It was for the town's 4th of July celebration. A popular travel lecturer at the time had his camera rolling to catch wow. this a spectacle here, and we're bringing it to you right now. Uh, this dance was recreated in 1998. Early is about 150 miles northwest of Des Moines. Really, really difficult to do. Choreography. Yeah, right? It's like yeah. the Blue Angels. Right, it's like the, the Blue Angels, but with yeah, tractors. Really, That's a yeah. really good comparison. I'm impressed. Thank you. I'm impressed by this, you guys. This is not easy. Have either one of you driven a tractor? I don't think so. I was serious. Dan's Break laughing at it. I thought too, that yeah. was a great. Yeah. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> Blue Angels with tractors. That's great. She's oh, Morgan. Morgan's funny. <laughs> well, our humor is always lined up. Now, put me on that list of getting a drink. There you go. Yeah. That was good. Number seven. We have been playing Monopoly all wrong. This time, last week a guy on Twitter posted a forgotten Monopoly rule. He says, when someone lands on a property and they don't buy it, it goes to auction for any player to buy it. People's minds were blown. They had no idea. But if you check the rules, it's there. Oh. It's the bank. The bank holds an auction, and you can get it. So if Park Place is 400 bucks. Oh. You don't have 400 bucks. You can say, no, I landed on it. I don't want it. Yeah. And then you can start the bidding anywhere you want. Do that. Huh. But the bank gets the money, though, right? Bank gets like, the cash. Just the player that landed on right. Yeah. The, the bank, bank would get the right. cash. I feel like you've played it this way before. You I have not played it this way before, oh, okay. but I went back and looked because I knew I was going to do the story, so I oh, wanted to make sure I was on top of this stuff. Ahead. You know what I mean? Yeah, look at him reading ahead and prepping for the nine yeah, and nine. Really that is good. A you guys set a very good example for yeah. me. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Usually we are reading this prompt for Yeah. And it never shows that we're reading We are reading this cold turkey the whole show. Speaking of, five seconds before I asked Lauren how to pronounce all the names in my next. Story. Okay, let's yeah. see you Number go. six, on this day, 20 years ago, Miramax released the film Chicago. It stars Renee Zellweger. Yes. Catherine Zeta-Jones. Yes. Richard Gere. Yep. Mm -hmm. Spelled G-E-R-E. A little yes. tricky, yep. but I yep. nailed it. John C. Riley and more. The movie is based on the musical of the same name. It explores themes of celebrity, scandal, and corruption in Chicago during the Jazz Age. Chicago won Best Picture, Best Cinematography, Best Costume Design, and Best Sound at the following Oscars. Zeta Jones won Best Supporting Actress for her role in the film. Now you don't know who Richard Gere is? I don't know anybody I just How else would you have about. pronounced Gere? I've well, I just wasn't sure. I'm like, why did the person that doesn't watch any movies get this script? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> that's yeah. Okay. It's, she did she didn't say, like, too. Richard, like, Jere. <laughs> G. Okay. okay, never mind. Yeah, that's that's number five. Number five. Uh, <laughs> no snowman you build will ever be this impressive. Whoa. Frosty, the snowman. This was taken in Penza, Russia wow. in 1966. <clears throat> and with a snowman this big, you have to question if it's real. Uh, we couldn't find any background information about it, so you're just going to have to assume that that's not Photoshop by our graphics department. And they are very good. They are good, though. They are though. very yeah. good. But uh, we're just going to assume that this happened. Not sure how you get the, everything up there that high, but... Well, uh, it's majestic, right. whether yes. it's real. Imagine how big that, that arm was. I was just thinking this, yeah. That can't be real, right? <laughs> it could be, it could be too. It's like a whole tree. Mm -hmm. Don't ruin the...
the no. holiday flick. Yeah. Okay. Right. Number four, this SNL parody might be a little too real for parents in the days after Christmas. Cashmere tops for her from $79.99. And for your little ones, Macy's has the festive fashions that'll have them saying, It's too much! <laughs> It is the season for resting your wiggly little monster into That's thick bad. winter clothes. So all month long, we're taking 25% off boys' merino wool sweaters that won't fit over his head. If you stop <laughs> squirming, oh it would be on already. 30% off all holiday rompers. She'll never get off in time. It's wet! Okay, you have to tell mommy when you have to go. The weather outside may be frightful, but in Macy's, we've got kids' jackets so big and thick, they won't fit in their car seat anymore. We've got precious winter onesies with so many tiny buttons and snaps, you'll let your baby sit in a loaded diaper for hours just to avoid having to put it back on. <laughs> the full ad is two and a half minutes long and full of tantrums parents are all too yeah. familiar with. I've learned when you're trying to get your child or kids ready for any sort of a holiday yeah. pictures or anything, Wear a tank top and shorts because you're going to sweat. Oh, yeah. Oh, like no. wrestling with them and trying to put the sweater on. And, and give yourself at least 30 minutes, right? At, at least, least 30, 30 minutes. minutes. Yeah, yeah build in 30 days. minutes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, number three. We know it's not going to be a barbecue weather for here uh, for a while, but next time you grill hot dogs, you may want to do it this way. It's called Foot Dog. Taking a page oh, from cool. Foosball. These guys are making the most of the time oh. waiting for their hot dogs to be ready to eat. And as you can see, it's a pretty simple setup there. You have a grill. <laughs> right. You can house the game there. All you're missing is the Andres Cantor, the go yeah, yeah, guy. Yeah, you need that guy. Kind of, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of make it really look complete. At the, they're using the skewers. This is fun. Right, the, skewers are yeah. acting as the little rods there for the, uh, for yeah, the players. Yeah, that guy even right. wore a jersey. It's a lot yeah. of hot dogs, too. That is, you gotta, that could be fun. <laughs> It's uh, aluminum foil, right? Yeah, the, aluminum foil yeah. like a soccer ball. Yeah. Well done. Number two, some of us uh, don't always have hot dogs uh, at the house in order to play foot dog. So if uh, you need to buy hot dogs, we found a premier salesman. Give us your best one. I don't know how your vocal cords I hold know, up. Right? I don't know how you don't buy one after yeah, that. Oh, you definitely like do. To. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'd be like, I'll take the whole your whole supply there. Uh, yeah. This is the famous hot dog guy. <laughs> <laughs> Morg knows when I stop myself from swearing. Um, this was at the Rangers Stadium in Arlington. Uh, no word on uh, where he works today or if he still works there, but. Mm. Oh, that was yeah. kind of a fake ending I'll there. I'll take your whole supply, please. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, number one, let this be your mood going into the new year. Rare <laughs> Moon Dancers from 1971. <laughs> Oh, that was a little cool. Do you guys want to remake this? <laughs> no. I, I, I think this is like what the Lashak family wakes up to on Saturday mornings. Yeah. All together, just a little <laughs> quirky, fun dance, yeah. all happy and in a good mood, and getting on the way to make a healthy breakfast. Is that the uh, precursor to the Jane Fonda workout? Yeah, That's what exactly, I'm thinking, yeah. right? It's got some. Oh, they, well, they had a nice wardrobe change. I wonder if this is the music that goes with it, or is it? It feels like it goes. Oh, the whole thing is five minutes. Yeah, so Ooh, we're going to So do... we're going to have to space this out a little okay. bit. Okay. And this is the music that goes with it, right? This is in our music? You know what I mean? I like, think that it, music is This is bizarre. oddly specific. It feels yes, like it I goes. think it's choreographed. Look at the guy in the oh, back there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, so now we're all, right. Right. Music. Yeah, we put some Jamiroquai and it makes it a lot better. <laughs> now it's from 1972. Okay. Yeah. All, right. <laughs> so, all right, that was a good 9 and 9. I enjoyed that, guys. Nice job, Amy. It's the 9.